very popular. Getting rid of his gi now. He kept it has been described as the greatest fighter in the Gracie family. A lot of people think that Hickson is also, but is the most active fighter in the Gracie family, for sure, as far as mixed martial arts. Yes, and he fought everybody. He takes every fight. Yeah, he fought uh, Kazuja Sakuraba. He beat Maurice Smith. Um, he beat Oleg Taktarov. He did lose to Sakuraba, and he also lost to Dan Henderson, and he won his last fight in not a terribly exciting fight against Michiyoshu Ohara. Uh, Hansel Gracie, a former two-time world champion in Abu Dhabi and also a two-time Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu champion in 1993 and Hansel, uh, Hansel is about 187, 890 pounds in this fight, but he says that there is nobody in the world that can beat him at 167 pounds. Yeah, which is his natural weight. Yeah, because he's always fighting guys that are bigger than him. And, and this is no... no uh, Change from that. Shugo Oyama, the southpaw, against Henzo Grace, spinning back kick. Wow. Oh, look at this. Tried for the, what is that, a crescent kick? Impressive. Hey, your kung fu is pretty good. Why don't you teach me? Shungo really coming out loose with the kicks. He's just got to land one. That's the fourth one he missed. Whoa! Good move by Henzo. I kick. The guy starts clowning, kick him in the head. Of course, it missed two. Some. But I never expected Henzo to come with a high kick. It was beautiful. It was a good kick. Yes, it was. Okay, that was, nice. the, that was the fifth kick that Shugo missed, and Henzo getting the body lock and the trip, and uh oh. A little rope grabbing there by Oyama to avoid the takedown. And Oyama on his back via a Henzo Gracie trip slam. Side mount there. Can Henzo keep him down? Yes, he can. And Shugo's going to use a lot of energy to get back up. The guard. Now, this is not what we want to see with two submission guys. No, because this could have a real slowdown. Yep. And the crowd, although they're into it at the moment, could get restless. And he's already looking over his shoulder, which foot is up, so I think he's going to try to pass it. There's one thing I really like about uh, fights here in Japan. Now, when the fight slows down, you can hear a pin jump inside Thomas Super Arena. Yep. It's, it's, uh, comes, it's very... Uh, uh, it's very handy for uh, your cornerman, so you can uh, hear your cornerman too. Yeah. Normally, uh, when I fought in um, uh, the, uh, in America, I, I couldn't hear my cornerman because they were shouting. Uh, people were shouting so loud. I've had some of the fighters tell me they can hear me, and they listen to me for instructions. <laughs> oh, it is here, but it's here, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I think one of the things where the point I was trying to make is that when they get really quiet, they have a real deep appreciation of the finer points and the techniques of mixed martial arts here in Japan. It's not just a blue-collar sport. White-collar people, people across the board, really appreciate mixed martial arts here in Japan. Yep, you put it exactly there. Okay, nice. Yeah. Enzo keeping busy. Yeah, he did good, but um, uh, Oyama was wide open there for body shots. So maybe he should work his... Uh, way up to the head, through the body. That's uh, like we said, we, uh, this, this could be very slow if they stay in this position, so the referee got to put it up. Hanzo had an interesting remark to make about the internet. He says, it's crazy, it's for little kids. No. <laughs> no. It is. It is because little kids, a lot of little kids are on it. And they're st saying strange things. Can we see Oyama? Oh, no, not anymore. He put a foot on his hip there, on Hanzo's hip, but then he realized that his guard was open and maybe Hanzo could pass the guard, so he closed it again. That's very smart. Hanzo should uh, throw right straights here, right hooks to the body, I mean. Shungo Oyama probably wants to, this fight back on his feet, but we didn't see any of his uh, boxing. Uh, he's been training a lot with Hironaka over there in Oka, uh, Okinawa. Hironaka was a former world champion of boxing. He knocked out Edwin Rosario in Mexico to win the uh, title. 
And uh, Shingo's also been training with Sakuraba. Not a bad guy to, to, train. to train on the ground with. Probably the best guy to have here in Japan. Kazushi Sakuraba, definitely the master of submissions. A legend here in Pride. Looks like uh, Oyama wants to trap that arm, maybe go for an arm bar, which would not be yeah, a smart idea. Smooth. Look at this. Shungo trying for an escape. Enzo having nothing doing. We're getting into the slowdown that we had predicted. Two submission guys. Enzo grinding away, but Shungo moving back and away from those punches. Not a lot landed there. Yeah, plus his hands are wide up also. Um, hands are should try to hit the body. That landed. That was good. Don't forget, folks. September 1st, and that is Labor Day weekend. Set your BCRs. If you go on vacation for Labor Day weekend, do set your BCRs because you don't want to miss the hugest martial arts extravaganza ever in Shockwave. Available on pay-per-view. That, that's right, folks. September 1st, Labor Day weekend. Set your BCRs. No, ref. They got to stand it back up. Yeah, that's... Stand them back up. That was quite a good technique, looking back and then uh, attack with the right straight to the head. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Captain Kirk technique. Over there, bam! Yeah. My father told me when I was a little boy to uh, do things like that. Really? Yeah. So your dad was a strategist. He's the one who created the El Wapo system. The El Wapo system, yeah, distraction. He said, pull your, your leg up, and then hit him in the head. <laughs> well, I think you did that with Maurice Smith when you were, you were taken down. He said, wait, wait, wait. And he looked at you like, what? And then you stood back up, thanks. Yeah, that was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what was that all about? I, I used to have guys chase me when I was a little kid. Yeah, break. I'd run real fast, Yo. and then just duck down, and they'd go flying over me. Hey, look at this. They put him up. As we predicted, it's a restart oh, standing. Oh, Yellow, yellow, yellow card here, card here for Shingo Oyama. That does mean 10% of his position the organization, and he will be at a disadvantage in the scoring. He's behind on points now, so if he does have any boxing skills, he's got to come up and throw bombs here. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter because they don't uh, judge by rounds. So, I mean, but or do the yellow cards, they count, of course, that over the whole fight. I think Shungo's only chance here is to win by uh, a knockout because if they go to the ground, he's not going to be able to out-grapple Henzo. No, it's going to be exactly the same thing that we've seen. We're seeing a lot of oh, shadow boy. boxing here by Oyama. Henzo with a high kick, slipped on his back. Oyama trying to take advantage. Oyama should just back up and go back to standing. We should play this game. No, 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 no! Ringside, they both got a yellow card for start, which is actually very interesting. And uh, Henzo gets restarted again. Henzo should go for the right straight to the body. Do you think that Henzo has become tentative over the last year or so? It, it, it always happens with a seasoned fighter, you know. You, uh, the older you get, the more time you're going to take and make better setups. But it's, it's a, a kind of same style fighter. Here it goes again with a striking attempt, and then oh, now he's on the bottom. Uh, striking attempt, and then for the takedown, but it doesn't work. And like you said, Oyama's got to keep it on his feet. And it's not a good call from the referee here. Fight! The first time I ever saw Henzo Gracie, he won an eight-man tournament in the United States called the World Combat Championship. He was dominant there with his jiu-jitsu, but he, he also punched a guy, a couple guys pretty well in that. But he seems a little tentative to exchange here with the punches. Yeah, probably so that little uh, video that they were running <laughs> over Oyama that he was boxing. Yeah, he should go right straight. Yeah, he's leaning his head back. And, oh, oh. Yeah, and look, Oyama motioning, come on, let's trade. Oyama wants to trade. Oyama is moving forward now. Oyama may be trying to uncork that, that left hand. Oh! oh! Right high kick by Oyama, partially blocked by the tilting head of Henzo Gracie. 
Hezzo shoots to the left into the head and the right straight to the body. Like I said, boss, Hezzo seems tentative here. He seems to be run out of options, and if he can't take Oyama down, I think oh, Oyama should have. That's, that's a mistake. Oyama should just try and do a stand-up fight here. Yes, and that's what he's doing right now. You see also he's sweating, especially Oyama. Uh, he's getting, it's getting really difficult now for him to take him down. He's slipping out of everything, it looks like. Yeah. Oyama definitely wants to, he, he should just stay with boxing, stay with kickboxing. That's a good front kick, and it hits at the right moment. It's more of a push than a damaging technique, though. Yeah, but... Spinning back kick there by Oyama, and that cracked him a little bit. It wasn't, oh, yeah. ha, Henzo going with his own back kick. You oh, that's so Shungo, the one moving forward here. Henzo going for the single leg. Shingo strolling back and, de and defending the takedown very well. Enzo didn't want to try to pull guard out of that. Enzo with another front kick. Neither man doing any damage with punches. Now what's this? I don't know, it's like the free movement of a third straight shot. Back fist. It looked like he was setting up for a back fist. Well, but Shingo has been really out of range on most of his strikes here standing. When they did get into a punching exchange, he was the better of the two, and they caused Enzo to go back. But I don't think he's got quite the confidence he needs, but I, I really think he should, he should take, take it right to Enzo right now. Yeah, just go there with strikes. Enzo should keep attacking him uh, with the right straights to the body. I really left him to that, right straight to the body. It would be a good way to keep him off. What Enzo also is doing, the front kick, is also a good way to keep him off. A takedown is going to be very difficult. Here's the high kick, and Henzo turned his head, otherwise that could have really done some damage. Caught him on the ear, and Henzo motioning, hey, come on. That was a, it was a foot kick. It yeah. wasn't quite the Anderson Silva shin kick we saw earlier. No, it wasn't. It was kind of a toe ear kick, toe to the ear. Good form, a little slow. Uh, Good for a cauliflower ear, like this. But at least it landed. Yeah. Oh, he did good. Shungo uh, threw a number of shots in that round that were just way wide and long of the, the target. I think rather than showing off, he's got to try to do some damage with his punches. Yep, like you said, how, how long he's been training on boxing, we don't know. And it, it, it takes a lot. If you're a judo practitioner, you gotta you got to really box two times today, trust me, and spar a lot. And a lot of people don't do that. They, they keep with them, they stay with their own style. They do boxing maybe three times a week. But it makes the only difference if you're going to do it every day, preferable two times a week. Well, either, even though there was not a lot of damage points done in that round, it seemed that, that Oyama was definitely getting stronger. Yes, he was going into this fight. Could be the age difference also here, huh? Second round! What is the age see. Okay, second round coming up. Seven years. Yeah. Oh. Gracie. 35 years old, like you said, boss. But seven years on the young and in there, and Shugo Oyama. Oh. Inside low kick, causing more posing by Oyama. Yeah, but it's, uh, it would be good for um, Enzo to do, keep doing it. There's obviously that knee protection there is not for nothing. Hook kick missing. That is perfect. Well, we heard that sound, didn't we? Well, it sounded a little high, that it was higher, you know? <laughs> yeah, I got that sound, which means that he caught the protective cup of Oyama unintentionally because Henzo is definitely one of the cleaner fighters in the sport. A true gentleman in and out of the ring. Right hand there by Henzo, but Henzo seems reluctant to want to box or to trade with Oyama, and Oyama continues to shadow box on the outside. Yeah, what to do, what to do, what to do. Enzo should keep throwing that low kick inside, inside low kick. And more so. Maybe set it up with a left straight to the head. That's a very good combination there. Should do that again. Right straight to the body, left hook to the head. Here's the problem. Both men are 
relatively new at boxing, so they're loading up on every punch. They're not setting up a power punch with, with a fake punch, a jab, or something like that. So they're not really landing anything because the guy can see their punch is coming a mile away. Shingo should back up. He, he, should, he shouldn't play the ground game with Henzo. Henzo wants this. Shingo should back up. Yeah, but he's not going to go to the ground. The only thing he's doing is kicking the legs. Okay, referee getting Henzo to come back up. And getting some extra points there. Shingo's got to land some punches here. Yeah, he's got to take the fight to him. I think he should jab his way in. Oh, see, like he's, he's just throwing power shots. He's, like I said, he's just loading up, and Henzo can see him coming. Henzo Hen jumping the guard there. But this is going to be a lot of energy used by Henzo in this position as they're leaning against the rope. And down on the ground, Shugo pounding away. Shugo got some good shots in there. Shugo getting the stronger of the two. If I were him, I'd just back up. Yeah, he's growing into the fight. Yeah, he's, he's really starting to get stronger in this fight. And Henzo doesn't really seem to know what to do. Henzo trying for that up kick that he knocked Oleg Taktarov out with. But Shugo should just back up. Don't play this game. Yeah, but you know what? He, he looks really like, you can see that he trained with Sakuraba. He stands like him now. He moves like him. Yeah. First move. Spinning back kick. You're right. Enzo's got a little bit of a, an abrasion. I'll tell you what. Shungo has really improved. Oh, look at that. That's judo right there. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful step back, pivot, hip toss. Look how relaxed he is. Right? Look at that. Seeking of Sakuraba. Oh, yeah. Oh, what about this? <laughs> He's doing Sakuraba's repertoire here. Oyama is enjoying himself, staying loose. Look at this. He's finally found his groove, boss. Okay, Blake. Yeah, oh, um, yes. A little bit derivative of the great Kazushi Sakuraba, as we said, but still, landing the shots. Enzo's got a cut. Um, Enzo getting a warning from the referee. Shungo getting stronger, taking control of this fight. One minute left. One minute left. If he continuously, if he keeps doing this, he's going to win a fight. I think he should go with a high left round house kick. He should throw a high kick right here. Yeah, that would be a good one. He should throw the high left roundhouse kick. There, they're both clowning, posing, and taunting each other here. Shungo pressing the fight. Whoa, the high kick. It was the right high kick. It missed, but like I said, he had no setup on it. Yep, round number two coming up. Uh, round number three, actually. Henzo seems confused at this point. He seems confused because Oyama obviously has gained 100% confidence in the last three minutes of that round. He, he got into his groove of being a showman. But this is something new for him. But obviously, Sakuraba really rubbed off on him. I think he found uh, the right place to train. And uh, it really impressed the crowd, and he landed some shots there. Hello, free here, run. Here it is. Uh, the knee now. Oh, no, there's not that shot. Oh, there's the no, here, throw. Here's, the, here's the, the, the pivot back hip toss. That was nice. That was definitely Oyama's round. And look at this. Card reel right there. Let's see if they make, if they show that turn that he makes and then that kick to the leg. He did so much. He did spinning back kick to the leg. Just sitting here clowning. Oh, he's, oh Henzo's <laughs> <laughs> That's Henzo. <laughs> well, he's really getting under Henzo's skin here, isn't he? And Henzo can't take him down. Enzo is, Enzo's getting angry, which is not a good thing. Nope, because you're going to make mistakes. 
you want to keep your cool, especially in this game. Last round coming up. I'm telling you, this is really going to help Shungo Oyama if he gets this kind of win, especially like this over Henzo Gracie. This will really help his career immeasurably. We've seen some fighters like Daijiro Matsui, who people can pretty much wrote him off. He had a bunch of losses. They came back and beat Pele. Yeah. Now, Shuko Oyama coming off three straight losses, uh, never having had a win in pride. If he gets a win over Henzo, he's going to make people talk about it. Oh, yeah. He's going to put him right back into the business. Second Doesn't necessarily mean Second he's top goal. 10, but still. This is the Fire. round in which we want to see will Shungo Oyama grow even more with his confidence and his strikes, or will Henzo get it to the mat and get it over with a submission? Henzo has not even been close to a submission in this fight. No, it's, it's, it's very difficult. He's, I don't know for Henzo what game he should play right now. Yeah, like I said before, maybe the inside low kicks, but in the last round, now starting now, would be too late. He's got to watch out for that left high kick, uh, right high kick. Because it's just, even though it's a snappy kick, it could knock you out. Whoa, look at that. Yeah, spinning back fist, which missed by at least two feet. But the interesting thing is, okay, hands up with his own spinning back fist. The interesting thing is, even though Shungo will throw a lot of his kicks really short and wide of the mark, Henzo doesn't shoot him for the takedown when he does it. Yep. Whoa. Shungo trying to land that Whoa. right hook and getting a little wild there. Like I said, he's loaded. Nice Henzo right throwing the right hand. Yeah, they got a fight. They're going to get another yellow card. I don't think they'll get a yellow card standing because they'll do something intermittently and keep uh, the action flowing. But it is Shungo's fight right now. Henzo needs to take it over somehow. He needs to hurt Shugo, but he seems a little gun shy. He's leaning back when when uh, Shugo punches. And there's the shot, and Henzo gets his back and gets almost gets it down. And Shugo looks like he's trying for a Whoa. look at this beautiful escape. Shugo being really difficult. To look at this. Beautiful trip takedown by Shugo Oyama. Shugo Oyama in complete control here. He, de he defended the takedown, got back up not once, twice, but three times, then took Henzo down. But I, he doesn't want to be here. Uh, he should get back to standing to, to dictate the, the pace and the flow of the fight. Yeah, I'll go here for some, for some strikes. But do not end up with the guard. At least you want to stay in half that way. Well, I have to say, I am impressed with the growth of Shoko Uyama. From the time we saw him lose to Valid Ishmael by a side choke. Uh, and that was last year, almost one year ago, it was in uh, July. He, he really went to school and improved his game. And although he's still a diamond in the rough, he's a technician now, especially with strikes. His ground game is still basic, but it's his standing game that is totally unpredictable. He just has to land more of those punches. No, what can we expect? What do you do? What do you think? Well, I, I think that, that Shungo should get him into a slug, a slug match here. He should start slugging with him. And don't worry, because he's been able to defend the takedowns. Just start slugging. Just start fighting like a shootbox guy. Just going in there and just uh, you know, go to the body and go to the head. He's a southpaw, and he keeps loading up with that right hook, but he should throw that straight left to the body and then, then throw the right hook to the head. Yep. Should, don't, don't worry about trying to knock him out. Go to the body. Enzo standing straight up. He should shoot that left hand to the body, I'm telling you. He's definitely the aggressor. See, he keeps loading up with that and he misses every time he throws that right hook. And that's not the punch to throw against an orthodox guy. If anything, you want to throw your left hand because Hensel's head is turning that way. Shungo's got his number in this fight. He's totally got his number. 
and he's going to press it now. Yeah, he should just start punching, man. Just start bop, 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 like a machine gun. Just trade. He's going to win the fight regardless, unless Henzo pulls out a miracle submission. Look at that. It was blocked by Henzo. Yeah, throw me in control there. Lost two rounds. Hey, son. Yeah, son. no, restart son. again. Hands. This fight at this point Hands. is all but over. Right. Shuko Oyama has stepped back into pride with a very impressive, if not showy, performance against Enzo Grissi. He didn't do any damage, per se. Landed a couple punches. You know, maybe, maybe scraped Henzo. But the fact that he was able to hey, defend the takedown, okay, there it is! Shugo's got it. You know he's got it. Yeah, he got the victory. He was pressing the fight. Whole fight. Yeah, he made quite of a big difference. Yes. Nice combat. Pride Fighting Championships Demolition. Saitama Super Ring. That's where we're at, folks. Shungo Oyama has pretty much just outwitted Henzo Gracie, and we're going to find out if the judges agree with us. And here we are, Henzo trying for the takedown, and look at the look at the defense there by Shungo. He's going for that, he's going for that soccer Baba Kimura. Uh, and look at that. Wow. Jumping back up into a half guillotine, standing back up. And getting, look at that oh, trip. Beautiful trip. That man. was absolutely technical.